so the lab sheet, given lab sheet and given video of this experiment in SUNMS. So this is the experiment. The title of this experiment is increasing energy yield. So should be uh, read this uh, instruction which given in this lab uh, experiment. OK, so I will see with you only the. The focus point of this experiment. So we have now three parts in this experiment. OK, experiment in first part about annual characteristic. OK, about annual characteristic. We'll see. OK, in this case, we'll see the. Effect of effect of elevation angle and short current. OK, during one year depends on location of location. First elevation angle means elevation angle of BV, then location where we are. OK, so given in. At uh, the beginning, given this. Equipment, this equipment called. Locus Nulls premises and will use in this experiment, this part, part number one, will use using computer in this part. So I will mention here about the elevation angle given in the first page, this page given here, if you see here in the first line or second line of after after figure, given the solar generator has an inclination angle of zero degree. OK, then a second page given. OK, the sun and elevation angles. OK, so we said before in previous hour, we said before the elevation angle can also given other two names. So we can say tilt angle, elevation angle or inclination angle. So this angle is same, inclination, elevation, or tilt angle. So inclination in previous big, same as elevation in this big. So same. In this part, okay, given the screen using computer, should be used the location or latitude and date depends on our place. So for sitting should be used new setting okay instead of this this is for any place other place so for you or for for us the date will be arbitrary date we'll choose any arbitrary date okay before before the date okay before the current date any previous year okay so we'll use any arbitrary date depends on any year. OK, then latitude should be used. Latitude angle depends on our location. So in Oman, latitude will be. Anyone remember? We see latitude in Oman in tutorial number one. This is standard. Anyone remember? The latitude angle in Oman. Given the symbol of latitude angle. Alpha, zeta. Hmm. Symbol of latitude angle. Didn't remember all of this. Latitude, lambda. And lambda for Oman. OK, instead of this angle will be 24 lambda equal 24 degree north. This is in Oman, OK? Then this is the, our procedure, OK? We'll set the manual angle to be at zero. Then we'll calculate the elevation angle. Then should be used lamp to be to consider as the sunlight. So this lamp should be at maximum brightness, OK? Then we'll, uh, during one year, we'll measure the current in milliampere. Then from screen, which given in computer, should be direct. 
given the value of elevation angle, sunrise, and sunset. Then the last column of this table will be day hour. Day hour should be calculated. How to calculate? If we have current elevation angle, time of sunrise, and time of sunset. So how to find D hour, day hour? Level four. How to calculate day hour? We have time of sunrise and sunset. For the day hour will be the difference between the time. The time for sunrise and sunset should be given out of 24. For example, <clears throat> if given in any month, given for example, sunrise will be at six hour, six minute, for example, 25 and second 30. Then the sunset should be out of 24, okay? So then cannot say at five, then at 27 minute and second, okay? Should be out of 24. So will be, for example, 17 or 16, depends on the month and location. This is well given direct, the elevation angle, then the sunrise, the time of sunrise and sunset. So during one year, we'll calculate this day hour from January to December. Then we'll sketch two graphs. We need two graphs. The relation between month during one year from January and by December for X axis, this is month. Then we'll compare with respect to current in milli ampere. Other graph will be the relation between, again, month in X axis, but with respect to elevation angle, epsilon, which is given in a table. From table, we'll find this other relation. Then the second part will be about effect of elevation angle now on BV performance. Now we have BV cell. We need to change the elevation angle, okay? Starting from zero and by 90, every 10 degree will change. Starting elevation angle from zero, then 10 every 10 degree and by 90. We need now to measure in this case the current and voltage, then we'll calculate the value of power. Then we need to know the relation between elevation angle with respect to current, then elevation with respect to voltage and elevation with respect to power. The last part, part number three, we'll see the effect of shadow now. So the effect of shadow, when we have a BV cell, first will be measure the current also and same as previous part will measure the current and voltage if given in first case if given the bv cell without any cover clear without cover then will cover quarter of area one over four then half of area covered then three over four then will cover all complete area of BV, then we need to measure current and voltage. Again, calculate the value of power. Okay? Clear in general. This is in general. Now we'll see the video. Then we'll back to discuss the question which is given in discussion. Okay? Clear? We're starting now. Only 15, 15 students. Okay, so we'll see video. Hello, student in course of Eng fourth. Clear the voice. Wada sot. Okay. We are now in module number two. So experiment number two for today about increasing energy yield. The objective of this experiment is how to improve the solar cell protection by changing the orientation. This experiment is divided into three parts. The first part about annual characteristic. We'll study in this part the effect of elevation angle of BV cell and the short sales current during one year. Then in second part, we'll study the effect of elevation angle on BV performance. So we'll measure the short circuit current and voltage, then we'll calculate the value of power. And last part in part number three, 
We'll study the effect of shadow now on PP performance. We'll cover 1 over 4, then 1 over 2, then 3 over 4, then all of BV cell will cover, then we'll measure again the short circuit current and voltage. Again, we'll see the effect of, of this shadow on BV performance. This experiment will use this machine. This machine is a low personal supremacist. Also, we need the multimeter to use to measure the voltage and current. Also, we need the third equipment, the computer of this experiment, increasing energy yield. We'll use this in part one to measure the elevation angle, sunrise and sunset. Okay, the first step of procedure now, we'll put this panel to be at the zero. So the elevation angle of the BV will be at zero. So now this is at zero. And we need to change the lamp to be at its maximum brightness. Now we'll connect the panel to multimeter. So the red wire will be on to measure the current. So we'll connect it to this place. So to measure the current. Then the next wire, the black one, will be on the command, so the zero. Then when we'll change now in this computer will change now the date and latitude depends on Oman. So the date will use any arbitrary date. So this is the date 12-1, I mean in January, okay, at 2015. So we'll use any other date. So we'll change to use, for example, 15 of, for example, March, so three, on 2000, for example, 17. And the latitude of Oman will be changed now to be 24, okay, 24 degree north. Now, it depends on this data, which now written in this place, the elevation angle of the BV will change now to 60. Now, should be changed the elevation angle of BV from 0 to 60, then we'll find the elevation angle, the new value of elevation angle, sunrise and sunset, and put this result on a table, which is given in part one of this experiment. Now, depends on the given table in lab experiment, should be used the month starting from January to December. So, now we need to change from the computer, we'll change the month to be January. Okay, now, we'll change the month to starting for date 15 of January for same year. So, we'll use 15 of January. 2007. Now the elevation angle will be 40. When see this, this value, the elevation angle also given in this screen. So the elevation angle equal 44.84, and in this case equal 40. Now we'll change the elevation angle to be 40. So change from zero to be 40 degree. So change now. This is the 40 degree. Now, this is the value of current, which you find in multimeter. This value given in ampere. So we need in table to find this value in milliampere. So change to milliampere. Then on the screen, we'll find now the three values which are given now, the sunrise, the sunset. Also, we need the elevation angle. The elevation angle now, the exact value of elevation angle equal 44.84. And the value which given in elevation angle in scale, because this value given in as an integer number, so we'll change the 44.84 to be 40. So it should be written in a table, the exact value, so 44.84 degree. Now we'll record the value of current, which given in multimeter equal 0 0.03 ampere and should be changed to milliampere. We need to be in milliampere. Also, we need to now to record the value of elevation angle, sunrise and sunset from the screen of computer. So the elevation angle 44 point 
eight four degree. The sunrise at the time of the sunrise equal six thirty nine minutes and forty one second. For the sunset seventeen hour seventeen, then minute twenty and the second equal eighty. Then we need to calculate now the day hour. The day hour, the difference between time of sunrise to sunset. Now we'll change the month to be in February. So we'll change to two, February. Now the elevation angle changed to 50. So we'll move now to the changing the elevation angle of Bunnell to be 50 and again, the measure the current, then elevation angle, sunrise and sunset, and we'll do the all all month from February from February now and by December. Now this is the final measurements for first part. Now we'll do the second part about effect of elevation angle on BV performance. So we'll set the bundle to be at ele elevation angle to be zero. Then we'll uh, to be at it is maximum brightness. Now we need to change the elevation angle of BV to starting from zero to 90 every 10 degree. So starting from zero, then 10, 20, and so on, and by 90. Now we're starting to measure the current and voltage. Now when elevation angle equal to zero. Now this is the reading of current in ampere equal 0 0.08 ampere when using the elevation angle equal zero. Also now we need to find voltage when the elevation angle equals zero. So we'll change the point of current. In state of current, now we'll solve or to measure now the voltage. So we'll change this point to measure voltage. Also, we need to change this point, okay? So this is the value of voltage in volt equal 18.8. Now, in second step, we need now to change the elevation angle to be 10 degree. Now, this is the value of 10 degree. To measure the value of current, in this case, equal 0 0.08 ampere. Now, this is the final result, which find now in part number two. Okay, we need to find now current should be in milliampere and voltage in millivolt. So change the result which given now in this table from ampere to milliampere and from volt to millivolt. We need also to calculate the value of power in watt. This is the final results of this part. Now in the last part, we'll see the effect of shadow and BV performance. So in this part will be same as the setting will be same as the uh, previous part. So the panel will be at ele elevation angle equal zero, and the lamp will be at it is, uh, maximum brightness. And we need now to measure again the current and voltage depends on the shadow. Then we'll cover now the BV cell. We'll cover the uh, quarter of area, then half of area then three over four of area, then we'll cover complete area of BV, then we'll me measure the current and voltage. Now we'll see together the value of current and voltage when use the BV without any current. Now this is the value of current, which you now appear on multimeter. So we need to write this value, but in the table which given in this part should be written current in milliampere. Now, given the value equal 0 0.08 ampere, should be changed to milliampere. Now we'll change the wire now to measure the voltage. So we need to measure the voltage now. We'll change from current to voltage, and we need to find value of voltage. So this is the value equal 18.49 volt. We'll record now.
18.48 volt. This is the value of current and voltage. Also, voltage should be in millivolt. Now we'll cover the quarter of area of BV. Then we'll measure the current and voltage. After that, we'll cover half of this area. So we'll cover half of area of BV. Then we need to cover 3 over 4. So this is the 3 over 4 of area we'll cover. And in last step, we'll cover all area of BV will be in this side. Then we'll measure again the voltage and current in this case. Also, we need to calculate value of power depends on this value of current and voltage. Now, this is the last measurement for this part. So we measure the value of current and value of voltage in ampere and volt should be changed to milli ampere and milli volt. And we need to calculate power in watt. Okay. Clear? Any note? The forum can learn. Okay. Now we'll see discussion. Discuss your result now. This report will be easy now. With any comparing about uh, outside research or literature, only depends on your result. So, depends on our result. We'll see the effect after plotting, okay, graphs. We'll see the effect in first part, effect of elevation angle with respect to month. So two cases, we have two cases in first part. The effect of elevation angle with respect to month and effect of current in milliampere with respect to month. Then in second part, we'll see the effect of elevation angle on current and voltage then on power. Again, for the last part, we'll see the effect of shadow on current voltage and again on power. So this is the lab report two, lab experiment number two, about increasing energy yield. So any question, any note? Not clear here? Any question? Everything okay, clear? Um, until now, yes, it is clear, inshallah. Inshallah.